रूस के हमले में यूक्रेन के 137 लोगों की मौत हो गई है दूसरे विश्व युद्ध के बाद यूक्रेन पर यह अब तक का सबसे बड़ा हमला माना जा रहा है रूसी सेना ने राजधानी कीव को भी पूरी तरीके से घेर लिया है यूक्रेन के अधिकारियों के अनुसार पुतिन यूक्रेन की सरकार को गिराकर रूस समर्थक सरकार को स्थापित करना चाहते हैं यूक्रेन के नेशनल गार्ड्स के साथ युद्ध के बाद रूस ने उन्नीस के परमाणु आपदा स्थल चर्नोबिल पर भी नियंत्रण कर लिया है इस बीच यूक्रेन के राष्ट्रपति जेलेंस्की ने एक भावुक भाषण देते हुए कहा कि उनका देश मुश्किल के इस समय में अकेला रह गया है наших громадян. З них 10 офіцерів. Поранено 316. За наявною у нас інформацією ворог позначив мене як ціль номер один, мою родину як ціль номер два. Вони хочуть знищити Україну політично, знищивши главу держави. The city where we are now has not so far been the target of bombing, but people here are very much on their guard and wary that it could be targeted in the future. There are people packing up their things into cars. The roads are very busy, uh, and there have been long queues outside petrol stations all the road from Mariupol. People trying to fill up their cars with petrol or gas just in case they need to flee. When we asked them where they intended on going, many of them said they simply didn't know, because there are so many fronts open in this conflict now that there's a great sense of confusion and alarm. A lot of people overwhelmed with the stress of it. Some of them hadn't perhaps believed that this day was going to arrive, so they hadn't made last-minute preparations, such as filling up their tanks. Um, but now reality's hitting home. People have been trying to get cash out. Again, lots of cash machines and banks here running dry, uh, long queues outside uh, cash points. And again, people trying to buy medicine and food in the shops. So it's not outright panic, but there is alarm and a great sense of fear of just where this could could lead next. People are, are calling to family members around the country. The communications networks, as you've probably noticed, keep dipping in and out. So this is an extremely uncertain time in this area of Ukraine.